All right, so we have our text in, and we have the format and how it's laid out. We even have the order at which it's going in or appearing. And I just have that lined up. And what you'll notice is that based off of the sound waves that we're showing here, we can actually see where, um, where the different names uh, or words are. Hello, my name is Ty Carrier. So this is the section here. Here's hello, my name is Ty Carrier. And we're starting to see these actually pop. If I hold down control, left mouse, I can actually kind of match it even more to these peaks. What may help out, at least for this time, is zooming in on this area so we can get the timing even better. So at the bottom, you'll notice right here, I can actually zoom in on an area. I mean, it's not that much. And this allows me to actually see a lot more of those peaks so I can actually see where things are happening in the sound wave file so I can match it up for what I wanted to do with the text. Um, now I want the text, hello, to pop up. My name, we'll get that down and then the rest of it we'll work on in a second. I just want to get this part first. And I have that one, I don't want to just pop up. I want to uh, the hello to pop up. And I'm doing that just by, I remember I pushed the uh, the text layer and shrank it down so this is when it pops up right there now for these guys I want them to move in okay so at this frame right here is when I want it to uh, my to pop up and even though it's just showing up there I have to extend this out so even though I'm throwing it off sync it's happening too early So right here is where it says my, so right where it starts. And it can be just like a little frame or two right before, that's fine. And if I'm right here, and I uh, press P for position, then I show only the position, and this is the my document right there, or the my text. I click here to set a key. And that means that this is where it's going to be at this point. And then all I have to do is move earlier to when it shows up. Grab this. I'm going to hold down Shift so that I can constrain it so it's not going to, it's going to be in a straight line. There we go. So if I test that out. Hello. So that works there. And now I have to do the same for name. My name is so here's name. My name is and I can always adjust this afterwards. So let's say right about here. Right about there is when name should be there. I can move that actually over a little bit more. And press P, show position, set a key at that position. And when I move out here, we can mess around with that, but now I'm just gonna start to move this, which automatically sets a key. We we'll take that off screen. So let's just see what we have so far. Hello. My name is Ty. And excuse my machine chugging right now because I'm screen capturing. I'm going spanning three windows that you don't see, three uh, monitors, and uh, working in a video editing software. So it's it's being a little strapped. Let's see. Hello. My name is Ty Kim. Oh, God, that's so funny. Okay, so. Hello, my name 
this type thing. Okay. Let's zoom out a little bit. Alrighty. So I think that's working okay. We can fine tune it a little bit afterwards. Move you over just a wee bit. So, these guys are all extended. I'm just going to bring them so that they're all visible for the same length of time. Roughly the same length. Okay. And the idea is that uh, I'm going to want these guys to rotate over um, using what's called a null. Uh, a null shape so that that way I can pivot and rotate all these simultaneously and still keep them doing what they're doing okay so for right now that's what I have for this I just animated these guys in going into um, those first few words and then I has to go into uh, is tie carrier and we're also going to add a shape so just for animating that and just a backtrack, select the layer. I'm kind of keying where they start, where they end up first, and then backtracking to the beginning of when they'd be visible, moving them to a position they should be, and then keying them again. And so it's automatically keying once I move it, but that first key, remember, you have to click on this little watch, and that will start that. And we'll go over more in the next video.